So have you seen the Molly May backlash breaking the internet? To me, it's just become ridiculous. I didn't want to speak out on it. I just thought I'll leave this one alone. I can't help myself because I just really worry about the snowflake nature that we're potentially going down in society right now. Now, I hate terms like snowflakes, woke. Karens. I can't stand those phrases because I think we're all individuals. However, for goodness sake. Right. Let me tell you what happened. So um, Molly May, Love Island star, was interviewed on a podcast and she said the following. Let me know what you think about this, by the way. She said, you're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. When I've spoken about it in the past, I've been slammed a little bit with people saying it's easy for you to say you've not grown up in poverty. You've not grown up with major money struggles. So for you to sit there and say that we all have the same 24 hours a day, uh, it's not correct. And I'm like, but technically what I'm saying is correct. We do. So I understand that we all have different backgrounds. We're all raised in different ways and we do have different financial situations. But I do think if you want something enough, you can achieve it. So basically what Molly May, the Love Island um, star, has said on a podcast is we're all given 24 hours in a day. Beyonce is, I am and you are. We're all in different backgrounds, in different situations, and some people are more um, in poverty than others. I understand that. But I do think if you want something bad enough, you can achieve it. And now she's getting a massive backlash all across social media. She's Thatcherite. She's privileged. Sack her from her job at Pretty Little Things. Yada, yada, yada. What the fuck is the world coming to? Jeez, man, come on. She's not even said anything wrong. She's not even said anything wrong. So, is it your fault if you were born into poverty? No. But can you do something about it? Well, I believe the message that you can do something about it is a good message. It's a meaningful message. It's an empowering message. Why are we slamming people for giving empowered messages? Now, some people will say, oh, yeah, Love Island. Who is my money made? Blah, 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 blah. But actually, it's a fucking inspiring message. She is young. She's got herself on Love Island. She's used it for business and promotion. She's now become successful. She's getting interviewed on the top shows. She's telling everyone else you've got one life. It's up to you what what you do with it. We all have 24 hours in a day. If you want something bad enough, you can achieve it. And then they freaking slammer for it. The very people who need the information the most are slamming for it. And this, for me, is a sign of the snowflakey times where you can't say or do anything at all because you've upset and offended someone bill gates said it's not your fault if you're born poor but it's your fault if you die poor that's what bill gates said you cannot help where you were born what parents you were born to what location you were born and whether you were born into wealth but do you know that a huge percentage now of millionaires were not not born into wealth and received zero inheritance So you could actually argue it is better for your wealth building if you're not born into wealth and you're not given money. Because if you're given money, you don't know what to do to earn the money and you squander the money because you can't get more money until you learn what you to manage what you've already got. So let me summarize. There's a massive backlash. Backlash. There's a massive backlash. Fucking hell. Pissing me off. Myself, there's a massive backlash on social media. Calls for Molly May to be sacked from her job at Pretty Little Things. She's privileged. She's Thatcherite. She's tone deaf for the masses. Here's what she said. You're given one life and it's down to you what to do with it. If you want something bad enough, you can achieve it. What's wrong with that? That's a great and inspired message. And then she's had to go and apologize on social media and apologize if she's offended anyone. As far as I'm concerned, if you're offended by someone saying you've got one life, it's down to you to live it. I know you could have been born into a difficult situation, but only you can change it. And if you think and want something bad enough, you can achieve it. If you're offended by that, you've got bigger fucking problems and you should get off social media. and You should go and get therapy. I just think these people have got nothing better to do. Like, surely the world needs more people to say if you've got a dream, chase it, believe it, achieve it. 
There's more to your life than where you were born and what poverty you were in. So someone, uh, this is an interesting comment. So someone has said here, well, she said, why are you wasting your time on this? More important things happening. I, I think the lesson's really important, um, Welsh. So it's not really about the fact that it was Molly May and she's on Love Island or whatever. But someone who says, we've all got the same 24 hours in a day. That's true. Beyonce and a billionaire and a zero air and me and you have all got the same 24 hours in a day. That is true. So people say, oh, but it's about your upbringing and it's about how much money you had in your poverty and whatever. But in many instances, it is. But here's the irony. Are people in the poorest countries in the world living in disease and poverty trolling Molly May on social media for saying that? No, they're not. It's the entitled people. It's the I'm so easily offended people. We all do have 24 hours in a day. We all do have one life. It is up to all of us what we do with it. And if you think you can achieve something badly enough, you can achieve it. And I think that's inspiring. And I think all of this bullshit trolling and criticism and almost being forced into an apology is a fucking load of nonsense. So please hit the share button if you also think that we should be supporting people with their inspiring messages. If you think people are so easily, I mean, this whole kind of woke, snow, snowflakey kind of culture that we're breeding. You can't even look at anyone without them getting offended anymore. And then it's your fault. And then you have to apologize to them. No, they just need to toughen up. I hate these labels, but I just got to address this. So hit the share button. Let me know what you think. Quick summary. Molly May, the Love Island star, was on a podcast. She said, you're given one life and it's down to you what you do with it. Um, And we all have the same 24 hours in a day. And I've been getting stick for that. But technically, I'm correct. But I do think if you want something enough, you can achieve it. She said that and she's freaking right. What's wrong with that? And why is there a whole freaking trolling and backlash and forcing apologies and calling for her to lose her job, etc. because of that? Because she could lose her job because of that. That's freaking ridiculous. That's cancel culture on steroids. And it needs to stop. And, you know, if you're offended, it's your fucking problem. It's not the problem of the person saying it. It's your problem. Because you can't control what people say. You can control how you receive it. So it's your problem if you're offended. It's not hers. It's not mine. It's yours. The, the royal you, not you watching. But And we all need to just man up, woman up, big girl pants on. And just go, do you know what? These are positive, inspiring messages. Let's support them. And yeah, okay, some people are in worse financial situations, but the information that helps them um, improve their life is the same. So that's not disrespecting people in Africa or underprivileged people. That's actually an inspiring message to them. Goodness me, what is the world coming to? Anyway, hit the share button. There needs to be a pushback on this cancel culture, woke culture, entitled culture, snowflake culture. I'm a professional. I'm offended. Culture is fucking ridiculous. It needs a pushback. Hit the share button. Let me know what you think. I support what Molly May said. I support that you're only given one life and it's up to you what to do with it. I support that we're all given 24 hours in a day. And I support if you think you want something enough, you can achieve it. And I support that goes for everyone, no matter where you're born, how much money you had, etc. There are so many people who've been wildly successful and they had all sorts of abuse and shit and poverty that they were raised in. There's all sorts of entitled, really rich people who flunked. Your background isn't anything to do with it. It's what you do with your mind and the people you hang around with and the information you consume. They're my thoughts. Hit the share button. I'd love your thoughts in the comments. Over and out. Rand over.